Hey guys, this is Jen Dalian with HotNewHipHop.com, and sitting right next to me is Dizzy Wright at his fashion. What do you do? What do you do? How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm going to call you out right now. Dizzy's left the set like every two and a half <laughs> minutes to smoke. Yeah, I've been smoking all day. Let's talk a little weed talk first before we even get into serious conversations. What's your favorite strain of weed? Um, <laughs> OG. OG? Kush. Isn't there like so many different kinds? I've heard like lots of kinds, lots of kinds. What are yes. your favorite kinds? Bubba, I love Bubba. Like we have a great strain of Bubba that is grown in Vegas. It's been coming from Vegas for like 20 years, mm -hmm. and I smoke it, <laughs> and Sweet. I love it. Papers it's one of my blunts. favorite blunts right now. But eventually, I'm gonna convert because blunts are great for you. You shouldn't smoke They're not them forever. Great for you? Yeah, not? you shouldn't smoke them forever. Why not? Just because got a little nicotine in the swisher, you know. Yeah. Niggas get addicted to the nicotine in the swisher. They just want the blunt, you know. So you want to smoke the papers, but it's just kind of hard. Like, you just want a blunt. Okay, so it's so good to have a blunt. So when do you plan to convert? <laughs> no time soon. No time soon? No time soon. Okay. Well then, let's get into music. So you just dropped the Golden Age recently, mm -hmm. and it's an album quality project. So what do you think you have to do to make for your next album? Like, what changes are you gonna have to step it up again? I don't know. It's not gonna be hard to step it up. The Golden Age wasn't like difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, the production was there, so I was just talking my shit over the beats. Like, so when it comes time to do an album, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just mm -hmm. make sure the production is even better than what it was before and uh yeah just you know motivate the kings talk to the ladies do what i do you know stuff like that okay okay so you just mentioned in an interview recently about how your mom used to write your lyrics yeah. so how did that even come about were you like mom can you <laughs> write some music no nah, my mom was in the music industry mm -hmm. and um she had us, we were youth reporters, like, mm -hmm. I was doing what you doing to me. Mm -hmm. So. Does that feel weird? Is it, like, trippy that nah, I'm doing that? Nah, it ain't, it's not trippy, but it's just <laughs> funny, because I, I pretty much know how it works. Mm -hmm. But um, I learned how to communicate with people. Okay. This makes you learn how to communicate with people. It does. But, um, yeah, my mom had her foot in the door, and she was just trying to figure out, like, something for her kids to do that was already in the direction she was going in. Mm -hmm. So. She was like, yo, if I write it, will you rap it? Does she have bars? She has some bars. I'm she not going to play her out. She you has should. some bars. You should have her featured on your nah, album. Nah, she don't got them kind of bars. <laughs> she got good mama bars, though. Like, when she pop up and she doing them, <laughs> they they fly for her. I want to see you guys kind of do, like, a rap battle. I think that would be interesting. She'll Disney probably win. She'll probably win. Okay. So let's talk about that. You did mention she was in the industry. And I did read somewhere where you said because of that experience, it kind of made you want to sign with an independent versus a major label. Yeah. So uh, that's very interesting because I feel like a lot of unsigned artists right now think you have to sign to that major label to make it wherever. So what are some of the oh. benefits of signing with independent? I, I don't really know the benefits. Um, I don't really know too much about successful like independent artists besides like the tech nines and like you know but um i'm just doing my own thing creating my own path mm -hmm. i don't really know the benefits or like what's the goods in it but i know that i have like creative control i get to make the kind of music that i want like i don't got nobody over my shoulder telling me like you know trying to make the music for me you know and um i'm just getting on the road i'm able to take care of my daughter so smoke good weed and just be a young king you know and it's yeah. it's working out i have to talk about your daughter since you brought she is the cutest thing i swear this is gonna sound yeah. weird i go on your instagram and i watch the video <laughs> what's your daughter's name zayden how old is she she's two how has fatherhood impacted your life I was just very motivated, like, mm -hmm. you know, I just be teaching her, I just want to teach her the game, make yeah. sure she's aware of what's, what to look out for, and, um, mm -hmm. but she's just so cute, like, that's why I'm leaving after this shoot, I'm taking my ass home, going back to being a daddy. Yeah, I love being a father, though, like, I'm just a chill dude, I'm not real turned up, turned up, like, you know, I'm real laid back, I like being a daddy, though, it's yeah. cool. What are some of your favorite things to do with her? <clears throat> 
just talk to her like mm-hmm. um potty training was cool it's cool that she just knows how to just she tells me when she wants to go now i'm like oh what like <laughs> <laughs> okay okay well let's go then so like but um she's just saying something new and her personality starting to show a little bit mm-hmm. Like, so if I start talking, she make it, she'll talk my ear off. And then as soon as yeah. she, I start talking, she'll make it seem like I talk too much. What is she mixed with? Because I was trying to figure that out. Italian. Italian. What? She's got that good hair. She, does she? Do you know how to do her hair? <laughs> I, I, the little tacky ponytails, that's <laughs> tacky about it. Tacky ponytails, that's it. All right, my last question for you, since we are at the fashion shoot. Mm-hmm. Wh- who do you think is the most fashionable person in the industry? Fashionable, like... Swaggy, like who the fly yeah. is. Um, probably Trinidad. Trinidad okay. probably killing them right now. What about female? Um, Tiana Taylor. That's who. That's Honey my Cocaine boo. Said too. Yeah, they fly. I'm the flyest though. <laughs> I'm flyer than them all. No, I'm playing. Everybody pretty fly. Everybody got their game up. It's a lot of leather stuff going on right now. I ain't got no leather, leather yeah, though. I just feel like leather would be so uncomfortable. Yeah, like, I mean, damn. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like, damn. But yeah. So no leather. So if I ever see no you leather. wearing leather, I am going to call you out. That's you probably never it. catch me. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Can't say that because I wore some leather shit. But it was just the sleeves. Do that count? That count. That's half leather. Oh, <laughs> I wore some leather. And a leather half bucket leather. hat. Oh. <laughs> now that's full leather. So it's half that's a half. suit. It's a leather suit. I guess that's what's in style. Guess so. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm looking forward thank to you, this Jane. video. It's it hopefully it come out fly. I mean, hopefully it will. Word. For sure. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> All right. Thank you.